everybody. <laughs> Hello. I know I done missed a ton of names. Let me try to go back. Hi, Craig and Keisha. Hi, Sky. Hi, Don. Janelle, Laura, Tanya. Hi, Bethany, Kim, Linda, Danielle, Misty, Evelyn, Tawanda, Mika, Antonio, Dakota. I'll let you know, dear. Hey, is it Kiana from St. Louis? I'm from St. Louis. Hi, Tanika. Was it Taniki? Taniki. <laughs> hey, Wesley. Hi, Sylvia. Doretha. Derek. Mika. <laughs> Hi, Ebony. Thank you, dear. Hi, Johnny. Juanita. Crystal. Joan. Joni. Okay. Potato soup sounds good. Thank you, April. I appreciate it, dear. Hey, Kat. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, James. Yes, Desmond, I missed you too. Hi, Tanisha. Hi, Derek. Sakajawea. <laughs> I am making, and it is some goodness. You all are going to have, have, have to try um, this sauce. Y'all know anytime I discover something new, um, I just have to share because it's only fair that you share goodness, right? Um, so, because of where I live now, I have a Publix. Hey, Aisha, we have like literally the same name. Her name is Aisha Williams too. Um, so I don't know what's going on with my internet. What is going on, honey? All righty. Well, we gonna have to fix that. Okay. So I go to Publix like every day. <laughs> they are like literally another family of mine. Um, but have any of you all tried this? Um, it's an all-purpose bourbon chicken grilling dip. They have a couple in there, but this one uh, by BC, it says BC Original. If you've tried this, honey, I know it's kind of blurry. I don't know how to clear it up. I'm sorry, you all. But I get it at Publix. You could probably find it anywhere. Who that from Huntsville? Hi, Lanita. That's where I moved from. <laughs> so I got my oil heating up. I love making wings because they're so easy and so simple. Um, thank you, Latoya. I'll be able to answer some questions in just a minute. Let me get me something to drink. My throat, throat is dry. And we don't need them problems. Because it seems like whenever I go live, y'all, that's when stuff like to happen. I'll be like, really? When I'm not on live, you know, stuff don't like to happen. And then as soon as I hit the live button, y'all, it's just. <sighs> thank you, Deborah. Girl, I got this from that. Y'all been seeing that advertisement for, what's some people name? Roswe or somebody? Honey, I done bought like 100 pairs of clothes from them people. I'm always on their website buying stuff. So this is where I got that from. Little jumpsuit. Okay. So I love wings because they're so easy. Um, <laughs> because they're so easy. It's Saturday and tomorrow I'm making my smothered pork chops. So I wanted to go light tonight. So I'm going to make wings and fries. So when I'm making my wings, you want to do a, like a light all-purpose. Um, this is a jumpsuit. <laughs> it's a jumpsuit. Um, you want to do a light all-purpose. So I love this stuff. This is like probably one of my favorite seasonings. The Goya. People always ask me what I use. I love Goya. This one in particular. Because they have a ton of these. I love this. My Greek all-purpose, but I'm not using that today. I love my green seasoning. Um, what else do I use a lot of? My, uh, my, um, what's that other one, y'all, I use a lot? The, um, my complete. Y'all know I love my complete. And I think those are my, just my go-tos. I have a ton of seasonings. I literally have spices in three cabinets. So those are my go-tos. You get those, you're good to go. So I'm going to season my chicken with some of this. And it has all of the spices that I like. It has garlic, it has onion, it has sodium. <laughs> 
Yeah, girl, them pork chops gonna be off the chain. If you try my recipe, my cousin, she loves when I make those and, and she's been trying to make my recipe, so hopefully she's gotten it because I always uh, try to let her know the little secrets behind making good pork chops. So I will answer your questions momentarily. Don't kill me because I don't see them. And what I come to find out doing the live, so when I'm doing the live, let's see, what does it go to show us? I missed that question. When I'm doing the live, when I'm answering your questions, it's like delayed. I don't know if y'all noticed that. So when I do answer your question, it's usually, you probably asked it like a minute or two ago, which is really weird. But hey, thank God for social media. <laughs> All right, so I am using vegetable oil, but feel free to use whatever you like. But I want to show y'all how easy this is. And I have wingettes. I'm using it kind of hefty because I know what this tastes like. I always recommend until you know what it tastes like, use a little bit because you can always add to. But once you add too much seasoning, honey, I don't know what to tell you. Once you mess it up, honey, you know, especially too much salt, you know, and stuff like that. So use it lightly till you know what you're working with. I'm going to take these off. Put those there. So just some little drumettes, nothing special. And then we'll put our sauce on in just a minute. <laughs> Do you brine? No, I'm not brining my pork chops, Howard. You know, that's what I wish somebody would do. Is there anybody on social media that shows us how to brine our meats? Because if not, I would definitely watch. So, um, oh no, Daryl, don't let your feelings be hurt. <laughs> okay, so let me get my tongue. And we're going to start dropping these in. I usually fry mine on a medium high heat. I like mine a little crispy. Um, and I like them to be crispy when I eat them too. So usually when I'm fixing them for other people, I like them to have that crisp on them, especially with this bourbon sauce. So this is your homework assignment. I want you all to try this. Now, anytime I recommend something, y'all know it'd be the bomb.com. Okay. So I need you to try it. If you can't find it, um, I was going to share the link through, um, my Amazon account, but I didn't see any that were, um, inexpensive. They're, they're, uh, selling them in bulk that way. So try to find this uh, locally where you are, okay? Or you can try to Google it so you only have to spend a couple, because it's only a couple of bucks. It's only a couple of dollars. Hey, from Alabama. Guam. Okay, that is nice. <laughs> All right, let me see if my grease is ready. I told you I'm using vegetable oil, yeah. I usually use vegetable or canola um, when I'm frying. I like to deep fry my wings. Oh, it's ready. I don't know if y'all can kind of see a little bit. You may have to move your comments, but I'm just putting them in the grease. Make it. And we're going to let them fry up. And then I'll talk to you all while they're frying. When they're done, we're going to toss them in the sauce. I'm going to make some french fries to go with our uh, chicken. I kind of want a salad. I don't know. Maybe fries or a salad or both. I've been craving salad, so I may need to just make me one. A nice salad with some eggs and some shredded cheese, honey. And some tomatoes, cucumbers, jalapenos. All that good stuff. So I have two batches. I saw somebody asking about the seafood pasta recipe. Hmm. Did I? I'm trying to think. Is that recipe written down yet? I don't know. Yeah, Craig. Wings do sound good for dinner because, honey, I don't feel like really doing a whole lot tonight. But I like to have a nice meal on Sunday. So, okay. So, in my pan back here. Back here, y'all. I'm going to start adding my sauce so my, my sauce can be warm for my wings. You don't need to add nothing to this sauce, y'all. It is so good. It's so good. It's tasty. I was very shocked. It's like that uh that Ray's. I like that uh, Sweet Baby Ray's teriyaki. Woo! It's like, it's anointed. That sauce is anointed, honey. This one is too. It's anointed. I can't get it open. 
<laughs> y'all know y'all be using y'all teeth at home too, so don't even try to talk. All right, so let's add this into the pot. I'm going to put it like on a low heat. And I'm going to add in some green onion. I'm going to add in some green onion. I don't know why my comments stop. I mean, they stop like in one comment. I got my sauce. I got mine at, um, at Publix. But you should be able to... You should be able to find it, y'all. Can you see that? It looks like it's blurry to me. So it's BC Original All Purpose Bourbon Chicken Grill and Dip. But listen, it's two. So there's the grill and dip, and then there's the marinade. There's the grill and dip and the marinade. Get the grill and dip, okay? Not the marinade, okay? We're going to turn our wings up a little bit. Because we need them to be crispy, honey. We need them to be crispy. We don't want no lanky, janky wings, okay? We don't want soft wings. We want them to be crispy. So I'm going to add about maybe three of these. Child, I just cannot get it. Did you see the bottle, Deborah? Thank you, Harriet. Thank you, Angelica. Or oh, is it, did I say your name right? Angelia. I think I said it right. Hey, Dominique. Glad you made it. Hi, Denise. I wish y'all can taste it. What you say? Hold on. Your kids going to be tipsy. <laughs> they won't be tipsy. Wait till you see these wings, though. And I'm going to put them on top of a bed of fries, honey. That's it. It's going to be a wrap. It's going to be over. It's going to be over. Thank you, Belle. Publix. I purchased it at Publix. All right, so I'm using three. I'm making about 20-something wings, so that'll be good. I like extra sauce because when you taste it, you'll see why. Okay? I'm going to put my green onion there, but not yet. And I'm going to turn that on like a medium low so that our sauce can be hot. I love to keep these handy. I shop at Sam's, so a couple of dollars, you know, it's just convenient for me. So we'll put our chicken in there once they are done. So I'll talk to you all while that is cooking. I'm gonna put that over there so we'll be ready. Aw, I'm glad, Ashley. Hey, is it Madame, Madame? Oh, no, Tawan. Uh, well, if you don't have a Publix, just look. Just look. Um, just look at your local grocery store because you may be able to find it. Hey, Bella. Thank you. Hi, Phyllis. Thank you, Lisa. Blessings to you and your family, too. Karen, this is it. This is what it looks like. So at least you'll know what you're looking for when you go in the store. I'm trying so it's not blurry. Thank you, Clara. Let's see. Yes, you can, Elizabeth. <laughs> oh, Lisa, it's okay. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do, honey. Hey, Mike. Oh, yes, Marilyn. Y'all need to make you some wings. It only take you a couple of minutes. And that's what I love about it. It only takes a couple of minutes. Um, I've been feeling really lazy today. I have a new fish tank. So I've been trying to get that going. Had to go exchange my filter. So I've just been feeling lazy all day long. Thank you, Isis. Yeah, Regina, good idea. I'm an online shopper myself. Carolyn, I, oh, green seasonings. Who used the green seasoning, y'all? Who else used this? I want to say I got this out of Dollar Tree, right? Who sells Spice Supreme? I think that's Dollar Tree. I buy it whenever I see it. No, I didn't, y'all. I got it out of, um, it's this store I go to here in Dothan. It's not a, it's not a, um, it's not a, uh, store that you will find anywhere. It's, it's a local store, um, here in Dothan. 
but I'm sure you can find it other places. Green season. This is really good. Really good. I add this in my kale. Ooh, it's so good, honey. It's so good. Okay, y'all. Let me wash my hands off. Hey, Patricia. Hi, Martha. Hey, Georgette. Pete's. Okay, Whitney says she got hers in Kroger. Hey, Matthew. I haven't seen you in so long. <laughs> Thank you, Natisha. My cookbooks, they are out. I had a few left, and they I didn't even say nothing about it, but as soon as they went to sale, I guess people just was watching my site because they were gone. They were gone in a couple of hours. So um, I will have more cookbooks, but like I told y'all, I will not be the one packaging the cookbooks from now on. Um, that's just not my lane. <laughs> is not my lane honey so i'm gonna stay in my lane and cook and i'm gonna let somebody get in their lane and package the book uh oh so i will let you all know um food depot thank you that's the place that's the that's the one uh therese is it therese i can't say your name right but miss barbara that's what i was and then they say iga got it okay I just want to sleep, but you never. Rochelle, what you talking about? Oh, good. So it's a lot of people that um, that are able to find it. Hi, Byron. Yes, Erica, honey. I, I didn't learn about green seasoning. I think one of you all, y'all help me out so much. I do listen. So one of you all recommended or asked me had I tried it or something. So, hey, Yolanda. So, um, hey, Angela. <laughs> When I was out in the store one day, I picked it up. If you recommend something for me, honey, I'll try it at least once. And when I tried it, I loved it. And then I made some kale, uh, fell in love with kale. Somebody on here recommended I try kale because I guess I was making a lot of cabbage <laughs> and greens. I was like, oh, you love kale. Love kale. So it's because of you all. Y'all help me too. I'm helping you, but you really help me because I be going out trying stuff and it be good. So I have fallen in love with kale. So I have to do a video for kale um, for those that either don't know how to cook it or you've never tried it because I really want y'all to try kale. It's so, so, so good. I'm going to add a little butter, y'all, into this sauce. Yeah, it looks like there is a lot of uh, stores that sell that, um, that green seasoning. I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter. It don't need nothing. I'm telling you. It don't need, but I'm going to add a little butter. That sauce is on point. I'm gonna, I may have to write them people a letter. <laughs> I need to go on that thing and write a review. That sauce is on point, honey. And that was just some um, unsalted butter. I always use unsalted butter. Oh, yay, Karen. I'm glad you got your book today. Kale is delicious, Kim. I agree. <laughs> Rufel, I'm not trying to cook for nobody. I mean, not for real. Not like that. Unless it's in my soup kitchen. That's going to be the day. When I get my soup kitchen, you all, it's just going to be... Mm, I don't even know. Because I know how I feel right now about it. That is my heart. That's my passion. It's like, I got to have my soup kitchen. So when I get that, it's going to be on. Thank you, Eddie. Try mix with cabbage. Ooh, Toya, you know what? I did make that. I actually, uh, I think it was last Sunday. I did a cabbage and kale mix. I sure did, and it was it was good. What else did I make? Uh, was that when I made the meatloaf? No. Um, I think I made pot roast. I made pot roast, cabbage and kale, and either homemade mashed potatoes or something. There, there was something I made with that. Sania, I will make I'm gonna make my own seasoning soon. It's just not up here on my priority list, so it's kind of like you know, but I do plan to do it. It's a lot of things that I'll be able to do when I get to a certain place. So it's definitely coming. It's coming down the down the line, I promise you. <laughs> it's coming down the line. It's a lot of things coming down the line, but you just gotta, you know, go in a certain order. So let me 
Go back in the room. You're not even dressed. Go back in the room. You can't say hi. You want to say hi? Okay. Man, you got to go. <laughs> say hello. Say hello. <laughs> say hi, Lana. <laughs> I don't know why my things be getting stuck. My, uh, Y'all, she three years old with a pacifier. Three. She the only child of mine that took a pacifier, too. I don't know, y'all. My, 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 uh, my, uh, what am I trying to say? My thing has froze, y'all. Are y'all, am I frozen? I'm not frozen. I don't know why my, let me pull y'all up over here. Hmm. Huh. I'm sorry, I don't know how to fix that. Um, St. Patrick's Day. I don't know if I'm gonna make anything special. I when it comes to holidays, y'all may notice about me by now. I'm not big on traditions. Oftentimes I'll share things because I know most people like to do okay. traditional stuff. Girl, if you don't get in that room, I'm gonna get you. Take that honey bun out of that room now. Um to to accommodate uh I don't have your tablet, Leah got it. <laughs> to accommodate, uh, you know, my followers, definitely I do certain things. So if there's something you want to see me make, just let me know. I know that the big one for St. Patrick's Day is a corned beef and cabbage. So, I mean, I can make something in particular if you want, but. Y'all, I hate that my comments are frozen. <laughs> it's like I'm frozen on this one thing. Let me see. <clears throat> I don't know, Dora, if I'm going to make corned beef. What you say about an error? I can't see it now. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I have an error. Thank you, Sonia. Hi, Cheryl. I'll do a corned beef. If y'all want me to do corned beef, I will. I love corned beef. I love corned beef, so. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. It's your first time watching. Thanks for being here. Okay, Dochelle, I see I'm not frozen, but it's like my comments on my live are, I don't know why. So I had to pull up my other one so that I could see. So that's what I'm looking at because people are fussing me. They be like, get off your phone. It's rude to be on your phone while you on live. I done heard some of everything, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, these people be fussing at me, honey. They be fussing, okay? Now, with the wings, um, usually after eight or nine minutes, your wings are done. But, you know, of course, I want mine to be more on the crispy side. So, I'm going to let mine cook a little longer than normal. But just for those that don't know how long to cook your chicken. Is there a food I don't like? Ashley, that's a good question. Hmm. And feel free to ask me anything. I'm not going to say I'm going to answer anything. But for the most part, I'll try to do my best. <laughs> um... Wow, is there a food I don't like? I am so open when it comes to food. I'm open to eat. I'll eat anything. I will try anything. I can't say I'll like it, but I'm trying to think of something that I've eaten that I don't like. I don't like beets. That's probably a common one for anybody. I don't know anybody who likes beets, so I guess that's not a good one. Um, hmm. I'll have to think about that one. Steak and broccoli, Lillian. Tavares, I have done a Reuben sandwich. I actually have a video for it. And that's usually what I do with the rest of my corned beef. Like when I make the corned beef, whenever I, whenever I make it, we usually don't eat it all for dinner. So I usually end up making sandwiches. So, Hi, Pamela. I'll let you know when I have more Reva. And I was just in Dallas. I was in Dallas um, in December. So, hi, Jason. Hey, Betty. Hi, Karen. Thanks for coming. <laughs> First time. <laughs> Lily said beets are good in salad. Honey, you the first person that has said that about beets, period. So, I don't know. I probably have to try them differently. The first time I had beets, I was a kid. So, I was like, eh. Okay, Karen, I can do cabbage again. You want me to fix it live or I have videos making cabbage? I have done chicken and dumplings, Christine. 
that's not a big one in my house the chicken and dumplings that's why you all don't see me make it often but i do have a video making it but i need to do another video um back when facebook um back when i first started i was not if you all have been with me then you know that my videos used to be in two parts if they were long y'all remember that <laughs> oh how we've grown <laughs> Like literally, I would have like part one, part two, part three. So if you actually go back in my videos, some of them are like that because I had no knowledge of how to uh, do what I do now. So I just learned <laughs> over time. Um, but so my uh, chicken and dumplings video is in two parts and it's long. I think it's like maybe a total of 14 minutes. So I have to do one again. Pickle beets. Okay, it's some beet lovers in here. All right. <laughs> Hi, Lanita. First time watching. Sania, I am going to need some people to work in, in my soup kitchen. And um, it's just going to be amazing because it's, it's like going to be a... Uh, it's like going to be like a church. <laughs> I mean, people are going to get to come in and, and get cleaned up, get them some clean clothes, take a shower, stuff like that. Get some good food because I'm going to be cooking it. I'm going to be cooking it. And I'm going to make sure that all of my cooks are trained. They know how to cook like me. So we're going to have to do my recipes up in there. And we're going to serve the people. I want it to be different than a typical soup kitchen. I want people to be treated like people because they are people. Just because you're homeless don't mean you should be mistreated. Um, because a lot of homeless people, they just, they weren't always homeless. You know, some of us are a paycheck away from being homeless. Some of us, if we miss work for one month, we're going to be homeless. So it's, it's not good to, to look down on people because you don't know their story. So treat people, you know, restore them. I know God has given me a, a vision and we have to restore people back to hope. We have, and, and the only way we can do that is with Jesus. That's the only way. It's the only way because he's the answer to everything. So um, it's a lot that I have. I have a vision because without the vision, we perish. So you need a vision. <laughs> so, and God gives us vision. So if you don't have a vision for your life, don't worry about it. Ask God to give you a vision as to what you're supposed to be doing. Ask him to show you what your purpose is. Ask him to show you. He'll show you. He'll show you. So, <clears throat> amen. And I've been homeless. I've been homeless. I've been homeless. I remember I had, hold on, y'all. <laughs> We're going to talk about that homelessness. Now, this is how I like my chicken, y'all. I'm going to show y'all in just a second. Let me take these out. And this is hot. <clears throat> it's nice and crispy. So, we're going to take these out. Yes. Just like I like them. Nice and crispy. But if you don't want them crispy, like I said, just take them out sooner. And I'm going to put these other ones in. And then I'll show y'all. <clears throat> but yeah, we just have to be careful, y'all. But I used to be homeless. Um, I've slept on couches. I remember one time, y'all, I was working two jobs. And, um... Sleeping on folks' couches. It was awful. Sleeping in my car. Hold on, y'all. I didn't realize I had so many left. Alright, that'll calm down in just a second. <clears throat> okay. I'm trying to see if I... Okay. I know I probably missed some things. Um, but yeah, so y'all, I was homeless. Like I said, sleeping on couches, sleeping in my car. I remember I had a cut list. It was so raggedy. It had no radio. It didn't even have the, um, the cloth in the ceiling. <laughs> it was like metal. You could just knock on it. It was... So when it was cold, it was cold in my car. <laughs> I didn't have any heat. So uh, those were particularly the, the rough times for me because when it, it like in St. Louis, y'all, it be snow. It snows. So it would just be cold in that car, y'all, with no heat, no nothing, you know, 
But look what the Lord has done. You know, he brings us, he was with me then and he's with me now. So um, I appreciated those times though, because the Lord knew that he would put the desire in my heart to have a soup kitchen. So now my heart is more so open to homeless people because I was there. I wasn't laying on the street, thank God. But I didn't have my own place multiple times, not just once. It had happened to me multiple times. So God is good. God is good. <clears throat> Shirley, yes, honey. My colors was a 1990, I think I had a 1997 colors. So <laughs> it served its purpose though, honey. It got me to and from work, okay? That's what I needed. Look, to work, to the liquor store, and back home. <laughs> It served its purpose, okay? Because that was the days, honey, I was drinking every day, okay? And, you know, being on hard times will make you, you know, be like that, don't it? It seemed like it's just easy to reach for the bottle or reach for that, that drug or reach for them pills or reach even for people to fill those voids, man. It's, it's easy to do that. When you're on hard times, that stuff is depressing, some people right now, they need money. Money is their only problem. And it's like, I'm telling you, you got to turn to the Lord. He is the only thing that can fill that void. Oh, Sean, I'm sorry. Bob, no, I was actually, I actually had my children. But each time that I was homeless, my children were not with me. They were with their father when that happened. Yep. So... God is good. I have a testimony even in that. Even in that because, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to just leave that right there for now. We'll share that another time. <clears throat> Somebody say, you can't see me as being a drinker. I used to smoke cigarettes too. I'm going to tell you, God always put people in my path to, to speak uh, life into me and to encourage me. And I was, and it's funny, I knew I wasn't made to smoke y'all because I'd be standing somewhere trying to trying to smoke and somebody always came up to me that didn't even know me and said you don't look like you smoke and I used to hate that I'm like where did you come from like God quit sending these people to me let me enjoy my cigarette in peace okay <sighs> and I don't even know when he delivered me from that I don't know I can't say it's been so many years honey Brittany I am making um some wings let me stir my sauce I'm glad you said that because I need to stir my sauce so I'm making bourbon wings and I got my sauce over here on low. Ooh, it's nice. I put a little butter in there. About two tablespoons worth. So when the chicken is, I need to show y'all the chicken. Let me show y'all the chicken. I forgot to show y'all. I'm sorry. Totally forgot. We're talking about this home. So there's the chicken. So they're crispy. Nice and crispy and golden. That's how I like mine. So. Like I said, if you like them a little more done, leave them in. If you like them a little less done, take them out. So once this last one, these last ones are done, I'm going to toss the chicken in the hot, the warm sauce because it's warming up now. And we'll, uh, and I'm going to make some french fries, which I need to go get the french fries. So I'm going to take y'all with me to get the fries because <laughs> they're out of my deep freezer. Y'all want to see my fish tank? So this is the fish tank I just bought y'all. I was telling y'all that earlier I was going to get the my filter wasn't working it's kind of big so but yeah so it's a 39 gallon and um my filter thing wasn't working so uh, it was just a lot of back and forth back and forth so don't ask me nothing right now well i guess i can't tell you not to ask me anything but i can't see your comments on this particular thing it's not showing uh where are the fries oh it's not showing me your comments. They're like frozen on this one. So give me a second to get back to my other phone. <laughs> give me a second. We have to go into the garage to get our fries. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Here we go. Thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> see, it's always something. I almost knocked my Sprite over. Them. Let me get shot where you can. There we go. Thank y'all for hanging with me. I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. I know it's Saturday, so what y'all doing anyway? <laughs> what y'all doing? 
Thank you, Bobby. Hey, Stephanie from STL. I'm from STL. I need to make a trip up there, too. I do. I, I need to come see my aunt. Do the wings have better? No, Rita. The wings are fried naked. When I make my um, wings, whether I'm doing uh, hot or whatever kind of flavor, I like to do naked. But feel free to batter them. Um, I've had them battered before. I've made them better before. But I like them better fried naked. So, it tastes better to me. And Natalie, I'm using the bourbon. I know it's kind of hard to see. I'm sorry. The bourbon is uh, all-purpose bourbon chicken grill and dip by BC Original. Those are the people. I do not have a recipe for salmon croquettes, Lily, but I need to make some. Okay, Kathy, I'm her club. That's good. I used to do that too. Thank you, Pauline. When I um when I used to work, I don't know. I was just really organized like that i like to get everything done you know early so i don't like to get up in the morning and, and rush you know so kimberly says she's lying on the sofa hey kim hi angela from houston carrie you said i would like <laughs> oh thank you brenda amen Woo! I'm telling y'all, she said, thank God you don't look like what you've been through. Amen, honey. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Look, Helen says she waiting on her wings. Okay. <laughs> okay, Nicole. She says she relaxing. Saturday is one of those. Cliff said he relaxing. It's one of those days. I know for me, I like to just chill. I don't like to do nothing on Saturday. I tell my kids, I don't like to do nothing. So, it's like, I like to have a day where I could just, you know, chill, you know? Okay, Joy, I love your name. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rafael. <laughs> Javoite, thank you. Hi, girly. All right, y'all. So, give me a second. Let me stir this. These are almost done. And when those are done, we'll throw our fries in there. We're going to throw this chicken up in here in a minute. Thank you, LaShawn. Thank you, Nettie. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. Thank you, Janice. <laughs> a B. Scott vibe. <laughs> Who is B. Scott? Thank you, Wanda. <laughs> this is the time to ask me questions, y'all, while I'm focused. What's a good meal for a relaxing Sunday? Hmm. Well, tomorrow I'm making my smother pork chops, and I have a video for it, and it's in my cookbook. So if you want to make that, give that a shot. That's good. Um, I don't. We don't really eat pork chops a lot, so it's like probably once a month. I don't even think it's once a month that I make my smother pork chop, but... Every now and then I get a, you know, a desire for it. So I'm going to make some other pork chop tomorrow. And, um, cabbage. I got to have rice. I'm a rice eater. So, yeah. That's what I'm making tomorrow. But, I don't know. It just depends. I, when I'm trying to think of meals, the first thing I start with is my meat. Because that's the main thing. If you eat meat. Everybody's not a meat eater. So, I do. I'm a carnivore. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. I love meat. I love to eat meat. So I once I know what meat I want, um, whether it's whatever, chicken, pork, beef, fish, whatever, once I figure that out, it's easy for me to make size up, you know, to add the size. The my hardest thing sometimes is just figuring out what do I want, you know, as the meat. So who said they could get some more some other pork chop? Okay, Keisha. Is it Keisha or Keisha? <laughs> Carrie, they're sold out right now. Shirley, I don't think I'm going to go live making this mother pork chops. That grease just popped me. That was so disrespectful. That was disrespectful. Hold up. You know, when you get popped, I just felt disrespected real quick. <clears throat> if you got popped by grease, then you know what I'm talking about. It just stopped my whole train of thought. 
So disrespectful. M. Tesha. Hi. Cookbooks are sold out right now. What do you think about the lady that does seafood shows? She shares on your page. I have no idea who you're talking about. I'm so sorry. What, what seafood lady? What do you think about the seafood lady? Who? The lady that does seafood shows. She shares on your page. She a multi-millionaire. I don't know. <laughs> um, what do you cook for small gatherings? Um, well, it just depends. Are you cooking for people that you know? Because sometimes it's better. Just don't stress yourself out. If you're cooking for people that you know, ask them, what would you like? And then, or give them some choices, you know? And then just check go from there you know it doesn't hurt to ask people what they like you know that'll help you out that way if they don't like it they say well that's what you asked for <laughs> they come and they got a problem like well you said you wanted fish <laughs> you said you wanted chicken but if you don't know people i mean wings are always a good idea i'm just gonna tell you, i don't know anybody who don't like chicken wings nobody so wings are always a good idea um for a gathering, I would do the baked ones and you can get them crispy in the oven just because you just don't know. Just to accommodate people. Okay, y'all. This grease is just not, not what it is. <clears throat> um. Oh, Marilyn B. Love. I've never watched her. But my kids do. My kids do watch her. Yes, honey. One time, y'all, I got popped with some grease. I may still have a mark. Matter of fact, I think that's it. That mark stayed with me for some years. I was reminded every time I saw that mark that that grease had popped me. <laughs> I was reminded every single time. Okay, y'all. These wings are definitely done. So I'm going to take those out and we'll add in our, um, our fries. What would I cook for a brunch? Hmm. I don't know. I would have to sit down and think about it. But like I said, I'm big on asking people and involving people in, in things. Because it really will help if you're able to do that. So think about that. If you're doing something for, uh, or if you're not doing it for people that you know, then that's different. But if it's people that you know, ask them. My thing that y'all, this handle didn't got hot, 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 hot on this stove. All right, so now our wings are nice and crispy. We're gonna add them in our sauce. We're gonna throw some fries up in here, and then I'm gonna show y'all what it is. I'm gonna throw these wings on top of some fries, and that's how we gonna eat it. Too bad y'all can't have none. <laughs> Can you turn the camera so we can see? You sure can. I'm so sorry. That's why I like the wider view better. I think I do the wide view when I make my videos. I wonder if I could turn y'all. It'd probably be sideways now since we already started the live. But next time we'll do we'll do the wider view so that you can see. Can you see now? Hey from Nebraska. Plus. Somebody said, let me go make some noodles. You gonna make you some noodles? <laughs> hey, Lache. I'll tell you about that crock pot meal. Let me think about that. I'll text you. Thank you, dear Miss Denise. All right, y'all. Let me get those settled in there. I gotta turn my grease up some because I had it down lower. Okay. <laughs> no, Nicole, I need to clean my deep fryers, both of them. <laughs> so one is sitting up on top of the refrigerator and the other one is out on my back patio because I was frying some fish. So I need to clean both of my deep fryers. <laughs> hey, 
Okay, Robin. You can have some, okay, Ron. You got to make me lick. I'm telling you, when you see these wings, let's go ahead and put them in the sauce. So, um, we're going to toss them in there real quick. And then I'm going to serve them over the fries. And we're going to taste some. And then we're going to enjoy the rest of our Saturday, right? Let me bring y'all over here. <clears throat> All right. Hold on, y'all. This little polar stand, y'all. And I got a new stand. It's just... Okay. All right, so this is my sauce that I added in some um, butter and all it is is this it's really good remember it's the grilling dip not the um, marinade so keep that in mind we're gonna add this chicken in we got our chicken nice and crispy didn't take long and we seasoned the chicken with just our uh, Adobo all purpose. It has everything you need in it, okay? Everything. Unless you just want to do some extra, but you don't need to do extra with that. So I'm going to add my chicken in this sauce. I don't want it to spill, or I'll just dump them in there. Hold on, y'all. I can't see your comments. These comments still frozen on this phone, y'all. On this one phone. I don't know what's up with that. But oh well. Lisa didn't cut us off. I don't think I've ever gotten cutting off on my uh, lives, but I've heard of other people getting kicked off their lives. Okay. So we just kind of get it in there like that. Make sure they are Coated, honey. I'm gonna let them sit there for just a moment, though. Okay. So I wanted you all to see that. So just put them in there. You could just toss them if you want to, but I'm gonna let mine sit for just a second. Thank you, PT. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Jasmine. It's so easy, y'all. I'm telling you. You fry, and I'm like sideways on it. <laughs> you fry up that chicken, honey, and um, and toss it with that sauce. It's so good. It's so good. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to be sideways, y'all. I can't get this thing to work. <laughs> Robin said, good night. You going to sleep already? <laughs> no, I'm not thickening up the sauce, but you can. Hey, Brittany from Tallahassee. Um, I pretty much like it the way it is, but if you want to thicken it up, you can thicken it up. You can actually just add your butter in the pan first, add a little flour, and then add your sauce. So if you want to thicken it up, you definitely can do that. So, yes, it's right here. Uh, Edna, this is it. I got it from Publix, Elnisa. Thank you, Dlo. <laughs> A lot of people tell me that. I'm, I'm telling you all, the conversations that I have with my aunt, y'all know I'm close to my aunt Sharon. So I be telling her, I'm like, aunt Sharon, I don't know why people watch me. <laughs> I promise you, since I have started what I'm doing, I have, I just be me, you know. Um, so it's, I, I tell her all the time, I don't know why people watch me. <laughs> so, or like to watch me rather, but, because I'm just me. You know, when you're yourself, you know, and you're not, um, what am I trying to say? Um, not prideful, but what am I trying to say, y'all? Uh, arrogant. When you're not arrogant, then you, you don't see yourself like, I'm all of that. And I got a million followers. I, that is not me. And, um, you all, you all get to talk to my aunt, you know, um, in the near future. And, and you'll see, I'm just, I'm the same person, so... If you've been with me, I've only gotten more chill. <laughs> I used to be very uptight because this was not something I chose for myself to do. Um, it just happened because that's what God wanted to happen. So it was like I was not expecting it, nor was I trying to be this celebrity person. Like, that was not my plan at all. And um, I'm very shy. You know, I'm more 
assertive now and a little more confidence, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, you know, trying to be where, where I'm going, <laughs> I guess, if that makes sense. And the prophetic words have been off the chain. So I'm like, God, you're going to do that for me? Okay. You know, so he's done, a, he's done a lot already. I'm just like shocked. Like, okay. So we have, we have more to do. So if you stay with me. And you'll see what God's going to do. I'm, I'm just going along, you know, with it. So I'm going to take these fries out. We're going to put this on a plate, honey. It's time to shout. That's what time it is. It's time to shout. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take these fries out. I don't know why this thing is like this. It's just so hot. The fries are nice and golden. Wouldn't it have been messed up if I burnt them fries while I'm on this live? <laughs> oh. They all black and crispy. Y'all would have talked about me. Y'all ain't no good. Y'all would have talked about me. I know you would have. My girl you saw cooking with Aisha live, she burnt them fries. She can't even fry french fries. I know you would have talked about me. <clears throat> I know you love me though. But you still would have talked about me, wouldn't you? Say the truth and shame the devil. All right, y'all. I love these little fries I get from Publix. If you got a Publix near you, y'all, them little, uh, I'm going to show you the fries I, I got. I like these. These little fries. Let's put that over there. We're going to have to move this pot here, y'all. I'm going to have to move that out the way. Oh, Lord. Turn that off. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> hey, Sammy. Hi, Sherry. Rena. You. Oh, oh, but that's sweet. Hey, Amen. That's good. They don't curse and stuff like that. That's good. You just don't want your, you know, you got to think about the children. You know, you, you, you know. We got to think about the children and stuff, man. You can't be just doing anything and saying anything and, you know, on these lives. You got to be, just be mindful of who's watching. And sometimes people blow opportunities. People could be, you don't know who's watching you. And if people see you using profanity and all that foolishness, they'll mark you off the list. We do not want to ever hire them or have, uh, endorse them or any of that. You just don't know what blessings that you mess up based off of stuff that you do on your lives because you don't know who's watching you. <clears throat> All right, y'all. I'm coming. I'm trying to move this pot out the way, and it's uh, it's hot. So keep that in mind when you're doing your your lives, or those of you that are starting your um, maybe you're gonna start doing your cooking or whatever you do, your makeup or whatever. Just keep that in mind. If you want your audience to be huge, you got to be, uh, you can't limit your audience. I've shared that with you all before. And there's just certain things I ain't going to watch. I ain't going to watch no foolishness. I could turn on the TV for that. All right, we're going to get a plate. Uh-oh. Oh, finally something popped up on that one. First time. Oh, thank you, Mariana. I am. I am down to earth. Um, but I think all it's all the hell I've been through. I'm gonna just be honest. I think I've been through so much and just been at the bottom. <laughs> so it's like I'm just grateful <laughs> for everything. And I, I think that really helps um uh, who I am, you know. I think it's helped that I went through so much before I got to where I am today. But you know, that's just how God is. You know, He He knows what He's doing, that's for sure. All right, let me get a plate. I want one of my other plates. Hold on. Ugh, let's get one of the... Let me get my plate. All right. So, I am going to put some fries. Can't see y'all. Oh, y'all want to... Oh, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, who was that said that? Zena. Thank you, Zena. 
these are the ones I get, y'all. The restaurant style Publix brand. They're really good. Like, they're better than I thought they would be. I don't know. Publix has some good stuff, though. But they're just really good. Uh, thank you, Latasha. Thank you, Andre. It's time. The most exciting part. Let me show y'all I did not burn these fries, honey. Before you be trying to talk about me. Look at them fries. Blam. See? Nice and crispy. Crispy. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have got this plate. We don't need stuff falling off. It's like a little one of those kind of plates. So I'm gonna put it like that. Let me test one out. I felt that. Mm. All right, I need my chicken. Oh man, this looks so good. I gotta take these out this sauce. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. I get excited. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I'm so happy. I don't know what to do. I'm finna tear it up. What y'all like, the drum or the flat? Woo! Hot. Woo, that's good. Woo! Mmm! I gotta let that cool off for a second. That's good. That is good. That is good. That is good. Mmm. That's good. I done had that sauce, y'all. I need to go put on my running shoes. <laughs> All right. I got to get this a second. It's so hot. I don't want to burn myself. <sighs> Lord. You know what? Somebody needs to invent a food blower. Is it one already out there? I need a food blower. Let me take these out while I'm waiting on the cool. The thing to cool. I'm going to take these out. And honey, you can serve some of that sauce on the side as a dipping sauce. I'm telling you, it's so good. I made um, I made some salmon last week and, and had some of this sauce, honey, and poured it on top. Baby, listen. Listen, listen, listen. It was so good. All right, I'm just taking it out so we can keep our crispiness on our chicken. But it was enough so that the sauce can get soaked up in the chicken, okay? So we got... Sorry, y'all. So, there's our chicken with the in the bourbon sauce. It sat in it long enough to absorb it. But I would definitely serve, um, serve some sauce on the side. Okay. I'm going to tell y'all something. Sometimes I get so mad that my kids are so silly, but they get it from me. Isn't that funny how parents do that? You get mad at your kids for doing something that you do? Like Aaliyah, she just be coming in here just dancing. I'll be like, why do you do that? And then it's me. I do it. It's like, she get it from me. I don't know. It was a random thought. I just thought about that. I have a lot of random thoughts. So if you hang out with me, you will notice that. Just thought about it. Okay. All right, y'all. I can put that on top now. Cool off. Let's get our chicken and let's taste it. Ooh. One more time, the sauce. Oh, okay, you need to see the sauce again. Let me show you before I take my bite. There it is. So it's BC Original All Purpose Bourbon Chicken Grill and Dip. I did forget the green onions. Shakita, where were you? Now, how are you going to tell me about the green onions after the fact? I needed you to remind me like five minutes ago. <laughs> but thanks. Thanks for nothing. All right. <laughs> thanks for nothing. Oh, these wings are hot. Thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful, wonderful food. Oh, it's such a blessing to be able to eat what you want to eat. <sighs> That's a whole message. 
until you've been to where you can't eat what you want to eat, you don't know how much of a blessing it is to be able to eat what you want to eat. Thank you, Lord. Mmm. Y'all, it's so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Y'all gotta try this sauce. Try it. Try it. You will not regret it. It's only a few dollars. Y'all know I ain't gonna tell you nothing expensive. It's like three dollars. Try it. So delicious. Mm. And you didn't have to add nothing. You really don't need that butter. But it's good. <laughs> so I gotta hop off of here I don't know what y'all doing for dinner but here's an idea don't take long to make if you got some wings in the house go ahead and hook it up and you can do whatever sauce you want but definitely try the, the bourbon chicken hallelujah alright I'll see you all soon I don't know if I'm gonna come on live tomorrow y'all cause I already did the uh, some other pork chop unless y'all just wanna see me put it together I don't know but I gotta go before it make me go <laughs> because my thing just came down y'all so thank you all for hanging out with me I see you all again soon pray for me and y'all enjoy the rest of your Saturday I love you thank you Zane I know that's right Andre praise break look Rhonda I did it honey I'm so serious my kids do the same thing it's so funny all right, y'all, I'll see you soon. <laughs>